In his upcoming visit to the region, President Biden is expected to announce the establishment of an Israeli-Arab-American defense alliance that will give a response to the Iranian threat. The alliance will include Israel, Gulf countries, Saudi Arabia, Jordan, Egypt, and the US. It seems like the days of the Messiah, a military alliance with Arab countries that until not long ago saw Israel as an enemy. It's unbelievable. Is this the beginning of redemption? And Biden is the Messiah. Come on, it's a joke. Why? Because what do they know about what will happen tomorrow? We already had such messiahs. All these agreements will give nothing, because what's demanded of us is to be in peace among us, to the measure to which Jews are in peace among themselves. To that degree, they can determine peace in the rest of the world. And not just because we'll sign some agreements and paper. It's unsustainable. You see the success of this collaboration in the Middle East depending on the collaboration within Israel first and foremost? Of course. Jews are to blame for all the wars, for all the difficult situations, for all the collisions the world over, globally. Why are they to blame? They're the representatives of all the nations in the world in relation to the one upper force that if they will be connected in a good way, then there will be calm, peace, good, and tranquility the world over. And if not, then we can reach a point where the planet will explode, but still there will not be any calm. What kind of alliance should we Israelis sign among us? Among us? Very simple. We need to live with each other according to love another as yourself. Because all these agreements they're good only in order to bring us to the need to keep love another as yourself, by which you promise yourself and the people of Israel and all of us peace and tranquility. Do you think that Jews can live in love another as yourself? I'm not sure, but that's the condition.